Hey there, everyone. Linda here. Just wanted to uh, talk to you all about uh, some neat videos that I was uh, watching on the YouTube the last couple days. And uh, you know, I've been seeing a lot of people using uh, spoons to put their makeup on. You hold the spoon, you put your eyeliner on. It's really neat stuff. So, you know, I thought I would put it to the test. I hope you enjoy. For this video, I'm going to be using two different spoons. Uh, one is a little bit smaller for the more detailed areas. And then the larger one I'm thinking I will use for the larger areas of the face, like the cheeks. So from what I can understand in these videos, you want to hold the spoon up to your eyelid and you're gonna just go right in with that angle there. Here goes nothing. Okay, let's see how that look. Oh, oh my. You know, in the videos, I wasn't sure how far to follow the spoon. So maybe that was a little far. Okay, not bad though. Okay, so the tricky part is just uh, making it match with the other eye. So I'm gonna have to really concentrate here. Oh, I like that a lot. It's a little fancier than I normally would do, but I really like that. Now here's where our big uh, Papa Spoon's gonna come in. Uh, I'm gonna use this for my eyebrows because you can see it just follows that shape there. So I think this is gonna work really good. And just to keep things simple for everyone, I'm just gonna use the exact same product I used for the eyeliner. Ready? Let's go. So we're just gonna follow right along. Oh, that makes it, it just glides. And still we're just following the angle of the spoon. Easy peasy. Oh, that is good. And you see how it just brings everything out? My whole eye is just popping now. Okay, so now for the other one. Oh, you know, something seems, I don't, these aren't quite matching. Let's take a look. Oh, you know, I, I was holding the spoon the wrong way. <laughs> oh, silly me. Okay, so that was all right. So don't do that. You want to just hold it the, the other way because it's going to look a little ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I fixed that little eyebrow whoopsie that I did. And now they look just I think they look very natural. Um, so next what I'm gonna do is I never leave the house without my rouge. So I'm actually for this look going to take my favorite hot pink lipstick and I'm just going to put it right onto the spoon. Just like that. All right, I think the uh, best way to do this is just to, just to go for it. That works like a dream. And now we're just gonna simply copy it onto the other side. You know, my mom used to call me her little rosebud and with cheeks like these, I can see why. Now, we never wanna go out in public with our blush looking this harsh. So what I'm gonna do, this is a technique actually I have come up with myself. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna take that spoon, that same spoon you were just using, and you're gonna just do a tip, 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 tip. And just keep tipping till you're blended and it's nice and natural. Isn't that easy? I like it. Haven't you ever wanted to create the perfect lip shape for yourself? 
I know I have. Well, now you can, because what I'm going to show you today with the Saran Wrap is you're going to take your lipstick and you're just going to create on the Saran Wrap your perfect dream lip shape just by drawing it on. Can you see Angelina Jolie? So now that we have our dream pair of lips drawn on here, what you can do is just hold it up to your face and that way you can just see if it's going to work or not. And that looks great. Those are so full and voluptuous. Who needs lip fillers with a trick like this? I'm having some trouble here. Okay. Presto. I don't know about you, but I think this look is wow, wow, wow. <laughs> you know, I wasn't sure how that whole spoon thing was going to work out. But as you can see, I think everything turned out really, really nice. And you know, this is a really versatile look. You could wear this to the office, uh, an anniversary. I have parent-teacher interviews tonight, and I think it's just perfect. Stay tuned for more videos with Colia Naturals and me, Linda.